Hi team, this is Chris Abram from Go Math. Today we're going to work on number 19 on the 53 Math MTEL exam. This is a, a nice problem, a great problem to do if you're uh, preparing for the general curriculum math subtest and even the middle school 47 and 51 math MTEL exams. So let's take a look. First thing I want to do is read the problem. Number nine, I read it over, I look for core ideas, and I try and get a mental image of uh, what's happening. In a particular skeleton, the humerus is 36.46 centimeters in length. The hand measures 18.9 centimeters. How much longer is the humerus than the hand? All right. First, I do the, the visualization to get a, a reading comprehension strategy to get an idea of what I'm talking about. Well, there's my person. This one right here. That's that right there, and that's about... I'm just going to say 36. And this hand here, that's this one right here, uh, that's about 19. Chris, that's not right. You're not using the exact numbers. Well, you know, I'm just trying to get a visualization. And, and my mind doesn't think like 36.46 centimeters. It thinks like an approximation. And so when I'm doing that, just to review your rounding rules, if, uh, if you have a number like 36. Uh, 36.46. I'll, I'll actually enlarge it so we're looking at it. I'm, I have this number and I want to review my rounding rules really quickly. Well, I'm going to round to the nearest whole number. So I look to the 4. Is the 4 greater than or equal to 5? It's less than 5. So these get rounded down to just 36. And what about the 18? Well, I look to the 9. Is the 9 greater than or equal to 5? It's greater than. It rounds up. This becomes 19. Okay, so now I have applied two strategies. One, I visualized the information in the problem. Two, in my head, really quickly, I, I rounded these so that I could just have a, you know, more familiar numbers. You know, your leg's about 36 centimeters. You know, this bone in your arm's 19 centimeters. Okay, now I go to the last part of the question. How much longer? How much longer is a, it's subtraction, right? It's not, you know, how many times larger, lar larger, it's not what is the sum, what is the total, those would be addition, how many times larger would involve multiplication or, or division, but how much larger usually means you're taking one quantity and, and you're subtracting another quantity to find out the difference between the two. So that would be like me taking this big bone and minusing the little bone, or doing 36 minus 19, enlarging the problem and uh, doing some regrouping, that would become 16, 16 minus 9 is 7, 22 minus 1 is 17, and what do you know? The only answer that comes even close is A. Now, um, here's some other th another quick strategy to think about. We read over this problem, and I did these visualization strategies. At the same time, I, I might have noticed that, uh, taking a look at the answers. And it's, it's always good to just really quickly look at the answers and see if you see a pattern. What I mean is, are numbers grouped together? Like A and B are in the low range, C and D are in the high range. Okay, so if you could just pick up that amount there, then, you know, you'd be looking for, an, if your answer was anywhere close to 17, you'd be only looking at A and B, and you'd be able to eliminate C and D. Yeah, just by being able to eliminate two of the answer choices, you've really increased your probability of getting this problem correct. All right, so that's always a good strategy to do. Notice a pattern in the answers. Are they grouped together? Like these are in the low range, these are in the high range. And if you could eliminate one of those ranges, you've really saved yourself a lot of time. All right, team, thanks so much for watching. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi team, I wanted to uh, encourage everyone if you have time to check out one of the MTEL math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care. Bye bye.